Hey YouTube, Sam here. I'm taking apart one of these oil furnaces. Uh, I actually needed the uh, plug-in off of it and the cord for another project I'm going to be doing later. And this one wasn't working anymore anyway, so I grabbed the plug-in off of it. And I'm going to tear it apart for scrap and we'll see what's inside. It's just one of these oil filled features. Uh, all I've done so far is dig in uh, here. There was a screw under here, took that out, and this whole side piece came off, and I took the front wheels off. Those are simple things to do, so I figured I uh, might as well film it, see what's inside. Alright, well, up inside here, there was a little plastic thing and a little screw here. I already took that off, because like I said, I was using the plug-in from this. And then this one kind of all pops out, and the plug-in was actually, I just unscrewed these little screws in here and it just all pulled out because so that's what I wanted to use. I didn't want to cut it if I could help it. And pretty much there's just a mess of wires in here that go up to the controls for just the knobs. So you got your temperature and the amount of intensity egg I'm assuming is kind of what that is there. Um, a couple little things there. So pull those out. pretty well torn apart over there. I'm going to show you everything kind of at the end and see what we get out of it for scrap materials. Um, on this side of this one anyways there's a little plug here I'm assuming yep, there's a screw right here. All that seems to be is just kind of a, like maybe a heat shield basically plate. There's nothing underneath there. That's just one of scrap mile metal. Now these are filled with an oil. Um, you'll have to check your regulations on what they allow you to do with that. Um, this one does say it's a non-toxic. There's a couple wing nuts in here. I'll probably keep those. And We'll just take off this set of wheels here. I also may keep and use for something later like on down the road. Who knows? Okay, I'll get this all done done and we'll go from there. Alright, it's got this big Mamma Jamma heat coil or whatever it is here. Um, this is basically the same thing like in your water heater and electric water heaters and those kind of things. Um, I didn't have a big enough crescent wrench or wrench for that so I f found this actually. We went through a bunch of my grandfather's stuff. My dad we had a garage sale and went through a bunch of his stuff um, that he hadn't gone through for a while and my grandfather for some reason painted these I don't know but I had this but I'm sure it's like a regular pipe wrench um, that's what I usually used to use but this one has actually flat uh, edges on it so I'm going to try this out anyhow you don't need to really watch that but I'm going to work on that and get that loose I had a WD-40 it so now my hands are all sick I gotta go wash up alright well this came loose there has actually a little puff of air so this actually had some air built up inside a little bit kind of puked out but anyway here it is it honestly smells kind of like like real light oil that you put in your car like motor oil uh, I don't know if it's a cooking oil type stuff or that. that's what I've been told that they actually put like vegetable oil in a lot of these um, but there's your heating element this plugs in, that heats up, heats up the oil inside and it just kind of through convection goes around and warms up your house or at least your bedroom anyway but I don't know what it is but it's pretty thin stuff that smells just like a automotive garage, probably shouldn't be sticking my nose in it yet again I, I smell things I probably shouldn't alright well I'm going to empty this out, get back at you. Oh, there you go, filled 
that little bucket up to about right there so there wasn't a ton in there and I gotta take that over we have a place to dispose of this kind of stuff in our state so anyhow you need to check it out for yours that's about all that was part of that I just went ahead and put that plug back in there was nothing that was I mean even these were magnetic just steel so I'll just go to the scrap alright so this is what we got uh, just plain scrap metal tin we got the two cover pieces that'll go in the tin pile just the main body of it uh, we got that much garbage it's just plastic stuff and we got a little pile here of non-ferrous metals this is kind of the stuff that goes in my everything adds up or the small stuff adds up something video go check that out uh, we got a pair of uh, some ferrous metal so that's all magnetic stuff there that's non-magnetic uh, we got a set of wheels uh, u-bolt some wing nuts and a little bit of wire it's not copper wire well I think it's like a copper coated aluminum I don't know anybody can tell me what that is a silver wire I know they don't pay me as much for it and I need to separate it so that I get more uh, this is something I was going to tell you it kind of goes along with those wheels you know I, I have projects I can roll around here. you know those little wheels that work for things but something else you notice I have this wire here and on both ends it already has if it'll focus uh, the connectors on both ends so if you do a lot of stuff like I do where you're testing wiring or uh, you know that kind of stuff instead of building a new one of these every time you can just take something that's already got ends on it plug it into one side or the other I'm always monkeying around with stuff and, and playing around doing stuff like that so it's kind of usable um, you know, the problem with me is that I see something in everything and I tend to keep lots more than I should so don't get don't get that way like me but really all that you know I'll make a little bit of money for it all really does add up um, and that's what I have to throw away is this little tiny pile I mean it's less than the size of my hand here that shows you how little it actually needs to be thrown away yet people throw things like this away every day probably hundreds and hundreds of them just right in the garbage and it all can be recycled people so please think about that next time you're throwing something away that really all you need to throw away and even some places will recycle unfortunately around here I they don't recycle a lot of plastics um, unless they got numbers on them and even then it's kind of difficult to find stuff for plastics but uh, pretty much everything else is recyclable or reusable so think about that next time you're throwing something away alright this is Sam jack of all master of none you all know, have a good one